All right, so this is DIY with Jay, and uh, my brother gonna give you five tips to drive the box truck over the road. So here, here we go. What's tip one? Okay, tip one. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so what's tip one now? Tip one, thoroughly check your truck. Walk around your truck, inspect your tires, inspect your lights, check every aspect of your truck like this to make sure it's safe to be on the road and you're not endangering yourself or anyone else. Um, second tip, make sure that you have a pallet jack that's working properly. Um, you have the straps you need for your, um, for your truck. Make sure you check your fuel level. Make sure you have adequate depth and backup depth so you like this, you're not running out, you're not killing your time when you're on the road. Time is essential. Make sure everything that you're doing like this before you start like this, it's not gonna hinder you when you pick up your load. Okay, okay, okay. What's the, what's the third one? Oh, the third one? Okay. Oh, I, I, thought, I was throwing them all in there together, <laughs> but um, well, I know you. Um, I know we were talking and you were saying uh, about when you actually driving on the road and something about the oh yeah um when you're on the road like this one most drivers already know like is you're not supposed to be in the speeding lane except like this when you're passing when it's i say extremely necessary but like this um you know everybody know like this that inside lane has that in, has that lean to the left and it drips down a little bit so the water level on on the highway how they don't settle there so you know that's something you have to be very cautious of because um some some roads you have to go into the left lane and if you're not, how you say, familiar with that that drop off, you might drop off, literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, so we did the death. You was pointing out, oh, another thing he said, all right, he told me this one, Turk. Oh. He was saying you can check, like you can get like a little welder. Oh yeah, um, there's certain items on your truck like this you have to check for like this, things like when you're backing up to the dock, your, your back, this right here is gonna get a lot of stress. Because like this, it's gonna hit the back of the dock like this, and eventually it's gonna start leaning down if you if you back up too fast. Basically, back up like you have some sense. Otherwise, you're gonna tear up the back of your truck, and you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars fixing things you don't want to. <laughs> because this this little piece right here, this little weld right here and right here like this, they will break after stress. And this piece right here, they're gonna have to order. It ain't gonna be laying around. They're gonna have to order it. So, you know, uh, they're gonna have to weld it. That's about like three, three, four hundred dollars you're gonna be getting. And you better pray they don't have, that they have a good welder because a lot of people like this, right now at these shops, they be using those welders that people be getting for home. You can't use those. You got to get a Miller, get a Miller Elite, I say, and put this bad boy together right. All right, cool. All right, I think that's fine. So this With is- With your tires, always check that inside tire. Because that's that one that always seemed to go flat first. And you don't know it until that last moment. I've had it happen to me several times. I've driven like this and, you know, I, I'm starting to notice that the pressure on the outside where I'm feeling like, oh, I'm leaning too much. But to find out, I don't have no air in the inside tire. Hmm. So always check your tires. It's essential for your safety. Hey, so that's DIY with Jay. That's five tips before you get on the road with your box truck, and uh, hey, see you on the next one.